Good morning, my name is Antonio Mello. I'm with Humana. I lead the digital experience center there and we'll learn more about that in moments to come. I'm Jason McKee. I'm a senior software engineer at the Digital Experience Center. And so today we kind of want to speak broadly about uh, the consumerization of healthcare uh, and Humana's role in leading in that space. Uh, I, we'll also tell the story of how the agile transformation that the company is undergoing is really uh, empowering that and some uh, mission critical objectives before the company today. So to really begin the story, let's consider the past rooted in delivering uh, customer experiences like you've heard in some of the talks related to Agile transformation yesterday, um, we come from a big bang culture. Uh, and this waterfall um, culture that's really rooted in decades of success um, was great for us up until recently. And what we've discovered is that uh, a financial cycle that happens once a year where our leadership tries to predict the future in many regards uh, that is the onset of delivering not really products, we've thought of them traditionally as projects or technical capabilities in isolation without really a notion of user validation or this idea of what value we're delivering to the user. So in the absence of this, uh, we've realized that to really lead in the 21st century, we have to change. And so what we've noticed, healthcare is on fire! If you played NBA Jam, you get it. Anyway, uh, what, what we're seeing is that, and what you're probably noticing, is there's interest from many different segments in healthcare, uh, specifically the Affordable Care Act. The government is getting increasingly involved in healthcare, uh, healthcare.gov, and the kind of rocky launch, and then the subsequent agile transformation that they went through. Um, and then you see, obviously, in the new startup space, there's tons of investment being made by existing venture capital firms, as well as brand new healthcare startup accelerators. And then you still have the existing uh, longtime players like Humana. So given that domain, uh, Humana is in the midst of another transformation. And, and reinvention or transformation has been part of the DNA of the company in its 50 plus year history. We started in nursing homes, uh, evolved to hospitals, evolved to uh, B2B commercial um, health insurance, and now we're in the midst of uh, a transition to being a healthcare company focused on health, focused on well being. And we'd like to quickly share a video that we think encapsulates the spirit of that. There's a gap out there that's keeping you from the health care you deserve. At Humana, we believe the gap will close if health care changes, if it becomes simpler, if frustration and paperwork decrease, if grandparents get to live at home instead of in a home. So let's do it. Let's simplify health care. Let's close the gap between people and care. Join us at closethegap.humana.com. So when you think about putting people at the core of your business, and you think about the simplification of healthcare, the reduction of reliance on paper, um, we've had to dramatically change. And the Digital Experience Center, which is a uh, lean, agile product development practice that we've stood up uh, in partnership with Pivotal Labs, um, really is a vehicle for cultural transformation. Uh, we've uh, realized accelerated delivery, uh, an agile tool set, uh, collaboration, um, and an organization that, that, albeit small and local, really flies in the face of our matrix org and traditional Big Bang approach to product otherwise. So the first product that we ever developed uh, in this new Lean Agile way for us was in uh, partnership with Pivotal Labs, and it's called Humana Vitality. So Humana Vitality is a, what we refer to as a comprehensive health and wellness rewards program. Basically, you do healthy things, you get points, you can redeem those points for things you like. So when we launched this, 
you know, it was really focused on the consumer, but when we did it, it was launched in July 1st of 2011 with a website only, and it was non-responsive. So we're telling people to get out and be healthy, but they have to get down and sit down in front of what we lovingly refer to as grandma's web, where you're sitting down in front of your desktop computer, or your laptop computer, and you're, you're being healthy somehow in front of your computer. So uh, one of the goals that we had for this was to uh, increase engagement. Because of using that uh, existing web experience, our engagement rate was at 3% of eligible members. And so the goal was to really prove the success of the way we're going to work and of this product, let's get that over 10%. So keep in mind, we're asking to more than triple it. So we develop the product, we develop an MVP in two months, we develop and continue developing after that. We demoed to senior leadership in the middle of that. And now our engagement rate is over 30%. So we kind of smashed the goal that we had for ourselves, which seemed you know, pretty high, you know, 300%, but we've been really proud of what we've been able to achieve there. It is the most popular uh, mobile product we've delivered, and it was the beginning of um, building some momentum of, of meeting people where they are and encouraging health. This next product, which was also, also delivered by the Digital Experience Center, and I'm gonna try and go a little quicker with what little time we have. This is a condition management uh, condition management product for our members focused on hypertension, diabetes, and congestive heart failure. Uh, the, the member inputs uh, blood pressure or weight or some other data elements, and then in return we give them some personalized content, some trending over time. Uh, the notion is we're seeking to allow them to manage their conditions uh, on the fly. So why this one is specifically relevant to this conference is it was our first product to ever utilize Cloud Foundry. Uh, the core application API is a Rails app deployed on an internal uh, or on-prem uh, Cloud Foundry instance that we've stood up. Um, we, we could only deal with so much change at one time, so we didn't do it on, the, uh, on Vitality. So moving on, the, uh, the product that we've most recently released that really kind of embodies the spirit of this video and what we would just call Humana's future uh, is Q by Humana. Uh, what's unique about Q is that you do not need an existing relationship with Humana to use this app. It is a app for the Apple Watch and for the iPhone. All it does is remind you to do simple things that we all need to do throughout the day that we forget to do, like stay hydrated, go outside, get up away from your desk, things like that. So it's really significant that we've opened this up and just said, you know, everyone's our customer, even if you don't pay us. We're on that journey to getting our, our communities healthier. So this product was developed by a team of four and took five weeks to get to the first App Store approval, which for us as an organization is huge. That is unheard of, and it's the, we've received a lot of internal praise because it's like, you guys move like, like a real software company. And it, and it's starting to feel that way, quite frankly. So one of the goals that we had was that we would launch this on the day the watch launched. So we achieved that. In addition to that, we were able to be featured in the Apple Watch App Store alongside Uber, Evernote, New York Times. Uh, subsequent to that, MacLife.com and their listing of 20 best Apple Watch apps picked Q to be in that list. Uh, and it was the only health and fitness app to kind of make that cut. Yeah, I mean, um to echo what uh, Andy of Allstate said yesterday, I mean, it, it takes us in Humana sometimes two months to provision servers. So for a Louisville, Kentucky insurer to actually deliver a product to everyone, not just its members, but to anyone in five weeks really is for us revolutionary and it, it symbolizes where we, we aim to go. Now, w when we consider that for, for what, uh, for us, what is disruption, uh, certainly we cannot do it without a set of tools and, and Pivotal Cloud Foundry really is the heart of what's enabled these kinds of fast deliveries. Yeah, so with Cloud Foundry, as I'm sure most of you are aware, uh, we're able to do what would take 
filling out a web form, getting a litany of approvals, and then someone actually, like a network ops person, going to the server and go, okay, they said copy the files from there to there, and then if it didn't work, then they've got to fill out another web form because, well, it's not in the first web form. So Cloud Foundry, Pivotal Cloud Foundry specifically, has really enabled us to do that, you know, CF push, and we're done. And there's no nonsense, and we're able to deliver that value to our users, be it in testing or in production, in a much more rapid fashion than we were prior. And it also really uh, allows an empowerment of our interdisciplinary product teams that has not been realized otherwise. Exactly. It's, it's becoming that first class user of the data center, as was stated previously. So when we look at how do we you know, manage these products, how do we manage the development life cycle of them, one tool we use um, is Pivotal Tracker, and that comes from obviously being embedded with Pivotal, and it's their product, and it is a great product. Uh, it lets us simply see you know, what's coming up next. It forces us to focus on one thing at a time, in contrast to the tools that we use uh, internally already which there may be a tool for the development team, there may be a tool for the testing team, and there may be a different tool for audit. And so this just kind of says, all right, let's get down to one tool that's really just focused on the product and not on the project. So another set of uh, simpler tools that we use, they're just kind of information radiator tools. Uh, we use Project Monitor. It's an open source Pivotal product. Uh, these are just tiles that set up on uh, TVs at the top of the kind of workspace to give quick visibility into the health of builds. Uh, green means good, red means we had a failing test. And then those little bars and numbers at the bottom are integration from the related tracker project. So that works well you know, for day-to-day -day development, but when it comes to production monitoring, uh, right now we're using a product called Dashing IO. And this is the dashboard that's currently live in our uh, in the Digital Experience Center for Humana Vitality. Each one of those little green tiles is kind of a step that goes on in the login process. We had problems because there's so many dependencies, as you can see from the eight tiles on login, that we needed to know specifically, okay, who do we go talk to? So we set up eight different tiles for that. In the top right, we're kind of keeping that consumer voice in the forefront. You know, what are people saying about us in the App Store? How can we you know, keep that at the forefront of, the, of our mind? Because that's as important as the health of our builds. And then in the purple tiles, what you'll notice is this is an integration with Flurry to say, how many people are actually using our app? Is the content we're producing this month, is that relevant to people's lives? Is it making them engage with the app? So I think health is really something that can resonate with all of us. Uh, and, you know, Humana is really set on orienting the entire company around bolstering health for its customers and for the communities it serves. Uh, wh when we think about the Digital Experience Center and its role in doing that, you know, we realize we have to help simplify healthcare and meet people where they are and deliver them value and experiences that resonate with them. Uh, and the goal absolutely is to drive a healthier culture. And for obvious reasons, um, that's you know, of utmost importance, but it's also a, a, a financial win for everyone. You know, certainly it reduces costs for companies like Humana, but it also reduces the cost of healthcare for all of us. And the role that the DEC, the Digital Experience Center, has within the company to help orient the company around health is the way that we work, the tools that we use, the culture that we have been able to create um, that really flies in the face of this big bang approach uh, to development otherwise, it just must become common. And we cannot emphasize the importance of the lean agile product development practice, the set of tools that we have to really disrupt this culture that doesn't really otherwise beg the question of change. Why change? That Humana is extremely profitable as it stands today. But the point is, um, we are looking to transform to be prepared to be healthier in every respect tomorrow. And Jason and I are trying to do our part to ensure that this agile and cultural transformation occurs for that very reason. Thank you. Thank you.